Hello, my name's Mike, I'm from Access Irrigation Limited. Today we're looking at UPVC type fittings. Now we've got this example in front of us, a bit of an extreme example in this, this side here, but most common sizes are up to about 50 millimeters. They're very simple to fit together, but you do need to make sure you do it safely and securely, otherwise you may have problems with them. They come in various configurations, straight sockets, uh, pipe to thread fittings, uh, even union fittings, uh, and of course elbows such as these. So how do they go together? Well, let's clear the decks a bit and I'll show you how to safely fit them. First of all you need your fitting uh, and to make life easier they're all stamped on the outside so if you need a 32mm pipe fitting it's always stamped on the outside. You need a decent bit of pipe to work with and you need the glue and we use an S3 type glue which is a fairly thick glue and a quick setting one within about half an hour you can actually put some pressure onto the fitting and essentially you need the cleaner as well. This will uh, not only clean the pipe up but it also soften the pipe fittings as well so they'll, they'll weld themselves together much easier. And you need a copious amounts of cloth as well because it gets very messy. Always work in a well ventilated area and don't smoke while you're doing this. Okay, first thing we need to do is to select our pipe, make sure the pipe is nice and clean, there's no damage to the external bit where you're cutting it and always make sure you've cut it nice and square with no bits of swarf or flanges left on the edge of the pipe. Check your fitting, check it's the right size to start with before you start putting any glue on uh, and there you go. Okay so how do we prepare it? Well first of all we take the cleaner and then we just put some on our cloth and always do the female fitting first. The reason for that is that once I've cleaned it I can then put it down safely. If I do the pipe first then I've got to put it onto a, a surface and it may uh, make it uh, even more dirty when I started. So we'll clean the pipe up like so and then we'll pop the pipe on a bit of cloth there to make sure we don't reintroduce any more debris or dirt on it. We'll always put the cap back on the pipe, uh, on the on the pipe, on the actual uh, tin itself, and then let's look at the glue. Now, always make sure you use the glue within its shelf life, and it will say on the base of the tin or, or on the side of the tin how long it should be kept for. Don't use glue that's gone all gloopy, if you see what I mean, or actually outside of its shelf life, because you can't then guarantee it's going to give you a good enough seal. So the first fitting again we use is the actual female threat fitting and so we give a good amount of pipe glue around the inside of that, not too much but enough and again around the outside of the pipe itself and remember to do the end that you've actually cleaned or else it won't be very effective will it. Always put the top back on the glue, hold on to your pipe and then as you put the fitting in, give it a slight twist up to its stop. Now you need to wipe off the excess immediately you put it in there, which aids the gluing process. And then you can leave that uh, to glue. Obviously the longer you leave it, the better the seal will be. But if you are desperate and it's a, it's a repair you're doing, after about half an hour then you can apply some pressure. Not too much. Don't it up to full mains pressure you need to just make sure that, that it's not going to leak outside. Now if the worst thing happens and it does leak then you need to cut it out and redo it again which is why they do unions to make life a bit simpler. But there you go make sure you uh, you do it right in the first place and then you won't have to revisit it will you. 